really don't want to start my day, but I will do. Pretty sure everything's going to need water in today. I'm starting here. Check on the pepper plants. It's going to hit the high 80s uh, this week and next week, so it's going to be nice. these flowers outside I think first of all <laughs> oh my gosh what is it with the creepy crawlies stop you scared me okay move along they're always where I want to work yeah don't look at me and I already have car insurance Okay, it took a moment to stop freaking out. He's hanging out right there. And then, yeah, doesn't look like he's gonna do anything, like jump on me and stuff, which is nice. I'm actually going to make, ooh, if I can get out of the hoop house. That's better. I'm actually going to make another outside table. So I need to steal trellises from in there. Oh, I'll pick up these cups because the wind's been just moronic. And I'm going to build another table here. Let's tidy up. Oh, you turn green now. Nice. If you'd like to move along, that would be great because, oh, you move too fast. It's like Jurassic Park around here. Unless you eat really, really big toads and then you're welcome to stay. All right, I got it in place. Got the wood on top, that was heavy. Uh, and now I can cover it in plants. So I'm moving all my stackies onto here because I can't reach them over there and this will make them easier to turn around so that they grow evenly and, and when I do move one I give it a quick water and, uh, and now I know it's good for the day so I'm slowly moving these over. I've got this stack of strawberries the seascape ones that I planted the bare roots. Some of them have done great and some of them, uh, I don't know what happened, but they've got a lot of empty spaces where they didn't come up. So um, I'm gonna add some beans because who needs an empty gap? You don't need to leave space. Just fill it with something else. It's another reason why I'm moving these planters. Because look, if you want to miss food, that's ready, you know, look at this radish. It probably tastes woody now, but wow. Huh, <laughs> the root system on it. Yeah. Some radish greens for dinner. Clean it up, check out the roots. They're enormous. For a little planter like that, it really sets. Uh, deep roots. All right, I moved the tomatoes and peppers to this new table because as you can see, part of the day it goes into the shade, which saves me buying shade cloth to protect them because it gets so hot here, they usually need it. So that's great. And strawberries being watered, still really windy. I had to open the 
little hoop house a little bit because it was so humid in there that um, I was worried about mould and um, I want really great peppers and I still have some in there so just venting that a little bit while these strawberries are being watered. I'm on my way to find the jack to jack up this bad boy and uh, yeah these these sunflowers are not disappointing. They are just huge. I mean, look. Look at it. It's huge. So pleased with it. And um, yeah, we've got a few other things in there that are coming up too. So I've just watered this and then um, I'm going to get it back level again because I don't want all the water to run to one side of it all the time because then only those plants will you know develop and and grow well so so let's get that done i actually got sidetracked going to get the jack um, i remembered about these uh, blueberries that i only paid a dollar for which is like the bargain of the century so i have this dead space behind this rose and um for now, I think I'm just going to drop them in there because I can always move them. And right now, I actually don't have anywhere else for them to go. So let's do that. And um, I ordered some more nasturtium seeds. These are getting ready to trail, which will give a little bit, little bit more space in this um, planter. Um, but I was looking and I was thinking maybe I could steal a few and put them in the ladder planter that I uh, made yesterday and just free up some space in here and have some trailing over there. Yeah, maybe I think I will do that. But for now, let's, let's get these in the ground and watered. Got the bath jacked up, took a bit of finagling and a lot of swearing and a couple of phone calls. And uh, if it looks dangerous, it probably is. But I think it's level. I'm just going to put something underneath it. And the leg didn't break, which I'm really happy about. But it was so heavy from me adding the soil that it sank, and so much rain that it sank into the ground. So, there, hopefully, I got it level. Oh, maybe I'll go and get a spirit level and put it across it. That's probably a good idea. I think I did it. <laughs> So just every now and again, things just kind of go your way. Not perfect, but there's a lot of weight. Oh, I deserve ice cream, of course. Let's do that. I've got one more bag of that um, special cactus potting mix that I'm going to use. Uh, I'm going to try and put my seeds somewhere where they won't blow away because it's still windy. Probably should have read up uh, how to germinate cactus, but I didn't. So we are absolutely winging it. I guess because they're from a dry, arid climate, that they just don't need too much water, and they need a lot of heat. Probably dry heat, but. We'll see if they'll work in these little containers and then I'm actually going to put these in the greenhouse as well so they're going to be extra hot and keep an eye on them. We'll just see how they do. This is going to be interesting. And then when they mature and they're quite big, I, I believe they're really slow growing, slower growing. Um, I'll add them to the... Oh, thank you, wind. I'll add them to the bathtub with the other um, cactus and um, they can live out the days in there. I watered the soil really well while I was waiting for it to drain. A little friend arrived. Haven't seen you all day. It's been great. I'm going to pick up those zip ties. Uh, and I was reading the, the back of the packet and they're probably going to take a month to germinate. 
and they need over 80 degrees so they're going to do well in these little containers inside the greenhouse hopefully and um, we'll see if we can grow some more cactus the seeds are tiny uh, and these are mixed so oops not focusing they're mixed so there's you know a couple of different varieties of seeds in there so that's interesting and i'm gonna put well i'm just gonna divide them all per each cell and um, use up the whole packet there's shenanigans going on that's what all the noise is all right all done they're gonna go straight in the greenhouse and heat up and i'll check them in a few days Hey, big butt. Big butt. It's not the best angle for you. Lexi, what you eating? <laughs> Dexter, hi. You make your tail wag? You make your tail wag? I got some ground cherries that need potting on. They could probably go a bit longer, but I'll just do it anyway because my hands are dirty. Here's my buddy. Hey, buddy. Not looking too bad. We'll just do it. I've got some cute pots for them to go in. Cute. These are actually going to come up on the porch. Um, on that little plant stand that I've got drying herbs on. Uh, I thought they were cute. I really like duck egg blue. I like the blue and grey spectrum. I was talking about this uh, to, to one of my good friends in England this week. And um, I like green and brown outside and I like blue and grey inside. Weird. I don't know. Just... Uh, just how I prefer my decor, so let's do this. All done. They're looking a little bit beaten up because I sprayed them really well with the hose, but um, they'll bounce back and uh, left them in a spot that's in full sun from tomorrow morning, so they'll do okay. And then um, I've got a couple left over, so I'm gonna go and put them in the beds where the other brown cherries are. The ground cherries in this bed don't seem to be doing too badly. Um, so I think I'm going to add these couple more to them. Actually, these ones got pretty tall. That's great. Happy about that. I'm also going to check for suckers and things on these tomatoes. Make sure they look healthier. They're um, they're pretty green, so. I wouldn't say they were thriving, but it hasn't been too hot here, so um, just keep an eye on them. But I do intend to feed everybody soon, probably next week. Uh, I'm going to give them some fish emulsion. So let's plant these. I've just seen one of the beans came up that I sowed around these uh, tomatoes. Give them a little bit of nitrogen, hopefully. It doesn't always work, but very happy about that. So, just need everything to grow, and um, hopefully it will. Fingers crossed for my tomatoes. 